Do you want to learn how to create launch files for Rust 2? Then stay with me. This video is for you. Hello Rust developers and welcome to the Rust 2 tutorials video series. If you want to learn anything about Rust, this is your channel. Rust navigation, Rust with drones, Rust for autonomous cars, everything Rust is here. Learn Rust step by step and push your Rust learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Alberto and today we are going to learn about how to create launch files for Rust 2. But before anything else, remember to visit our Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you will find practical online Rust courses using simulated robots. No installation required. You will find a link to the academy on the video description. And now, yes, let's start with the video. So, as I've said, we are going to be showing. So, as I've said, we are going to be showing how to how to create launch files for Rust 2. So, for that, we are going to use the Rust Development Studio as always. And here, I have opened the Rust 2 CPP package uh, Rust project. I, cre I created. Uh, a couple of videos before of this one. I think the previous one was the Python package and the and then the previous one was the C++ package. So this is the project I am using uh, here so that I already have a package created. I have Rust2 CPP package, here I have it. Yeah, so let's open it. There we go, and well, we are going to go, let me close this. There we have it. And let's open a shell and an IDE, and let's refresh what we had here. So, as always, let's do a source, oops, source opt ros crystal setup dot bash. And here, let me open this. Here in the Rust2 workspace, SRC, here I have my package. So let's come here to the Rust2 workspace and do a Qualcomm build simlink install in order to compile everything. Meanwhile, let me let me go to the academy. I'm going to use the academy now. I'm going to open here the courses. Let me put this properly. Let me go to the Rust 2 course. There we go. I'm going to use this course to to get some notes. So <clears throat> let's come back here. Okay, there we are. Source install setup bash. Great. And now here, let me try the Rust2 Rust2 CPP package. It was Rust2 CPP package, yeah. And here I should have my executable, which is CPP code. And let's execute it. And basically, what this does is to print this. Help me, everyone, Kenobi. You're my only hope. Okay, so this does a basic print. Let's review the code. Yeah, so this is just a, a print of this uh, string. Help me, everyone, Kenobi, you're my only hope. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is to create here a, a launch folder. There we go. And inside here, I'm going to create a launch file, which I'm going to call rust2 cpp code dot cpp. Uh, sorry, uh, rust2 cpp code dot launch dot Pi. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, the first uh, new thing is that a launch file is a Python file. Yeah. So it's not a dot launch as it was in Rust one, but it is a dot launch dot pi. Yeah. Okay. Now from here, let me go to the academy to the Rust two course we have in the Ignite Academy. Uh, basic concepts. Let's make this bigger. And here I'm going to use the section where we explain launch files. As a template here, okay, yeah. Here we have example, and here we have an example launch file. Down here it is. Okay, so basically I'm going to copy this and paste it here. 
Okay, great. And as you can see, it's very simple. So basically, we are doing some imports here. We import the launch description object here from the launch module, and we also import here from launch ROS actions. And then after these imports, we basically create a function which we call generate launch description. And inside this function, we return a launch description object where we define basically three things. First, the name of the package, the name of the executable, and finally, where do we want the output of this launch? If we want it through the screen, if we want it to redirect it to a log file, etc. Yeah? So basically, here we will need to specify our package name. So ROS2 CPP CPP package and the executable, which it was CPP code, I think. Let me see here. Yeah, so the executable was CPP code. Okay, CPP code and the output, let's leave it uh, to the screen. So let's save this. And then we have yet another step, which is to modify the semic list in order to install this launch file. So let's copy also this section. And let's open the CMake list again. And here at the end, we are going to install as well this launch directory, yeah, into the install into this install directory here that we generate at compilation, we are going to place there the launch file so that we can uh, call it. And yeah, so basically this is uh, installing there the launch directory, so it doesn't matter the names you have here because it will install the, the directory. So yeah, let's save this and let's compile again. We will need to compile again, call com build simlink install. Great, let's source again and now we will be able to to execute our to execute our executable, to run our executable using the command ROS2 launch. Yeah, so this command is very similar, it's quite similar in, in, in ROS1, it was ROS launch uh, package name and launch file name, yeah? And in ROS2, it's ROS2 launch and also the package name, which in our case it's ROS2 CPP package and the launch name, which is uh, ROS2 CPP ROS2 CPP code dot launch dot py. So let's let's execute the ROS2 launch command. And there we are. So here we have our print as well with the uh, launch process. Yeah. So as you have seen, it's very simple. Uh, it's it's quite more complex in fact than in ROS1. You have many features here, but for now we are going to explain the simple launch file, which is this one. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, you learned something new. If you liked the video, please remember to leave a like, subscribe to our channel, we are publishing new videos every day. And for any suggestions for new videos, whatever you want to, to talk with us, leave it down below in the comment uh, section. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.